Hi, I'm Tim Williams of Dwyer Williams Potter Injury Accident Attorneys. I'm the lead litigation attorney for our firm. You know, every so often I get a client come to my office and say, I was hurt in this accident, I hurt my knee, and now I've been diagnosed with patellar tendonitis. What is that? Let's talk about it. Let's look at the model. This is the right knee. This would be the outside of the knee, the inside of the knee, the shin bone, the thigh bone, and the kneecap. So if, look, if you look at it from the side, the knee bends when you walk just like this. Now the kneecap is called the patella. So patellar tendonitis simply means inflammation of the tendon that extends from the patella down to the shin bone. So patellar tendonitis can be, can be caused from a direct impact of the front of the knee or the kneecap and that actually traumatizes or injures the patellar tendon. Or it, be, it can be caused from a sudden exertion of the knee. Let's say you uh, get into a car crash, it's a front end impact, and your knee is buckled up underneath you, and it's kind of complicated, but your quadriceps would suddenly flex, and it, it would cause, even though your knee's stuck, so your foot's stuck, your knee's trying to flex, or your leg's trying to come out, it actually causes a lot of pressure on your knee. Regardless of the cause, it can be incredibly painful and interestingly difficult to control. The doctors will try generally to uh, give you medication, uh, apply ice and rest to get the inflammatory process under control because the inflammation causes pain. The pain in turn causes more inflammation, which in turn causes more pain. So it's a circular pattern that we see. So the idea is to, to break the pattern, either break the pain so there's no more inflammation or break the inflammation with anti-inflammatory so there's no more pain. If that doesn't work, uh, they may sometimes go in and actually shave out the portion of the patellar tendon that's injured. We see patellar tendonitis most often in people over the age of 40. That's because as we get older, the patellar tendon actually degrades with time. It's a wear and tear uh, type situation. And it leaves you more susceptible to develop tendonitis or inflammation of the knee. Insurance companies take advantage of this by arguing, well, the person was susceptible to the injury anyways, um, they would have had it eventually and therefore we're not going to pay. That's wrong in Oregon. Oregon protects people that don't have any symptoms before, but because of a car crash, they have symptoms afterwards. And that's where you need a lawyer to come in and fight for you.